Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. This is episode number two, where I am modding the Squire Sonic Series Bronco Bass in hopes of making it a great sounding budget bass. Let's see how good we can get it. In this episode, we're going to install Seymour Duncan hot rails. And as a bonus, we're gonna explore the differences in tone between series wiring and parallel wiring. Let's go. So in episode one, we installed a Music Lily rail humbucker into the space, and it definitely killed the noise. The tone was different than the original pickup. I think overall it probably was an improvement, but let's see what other options we have out there. Now for a drop-in replacement, uh, Stratocaster size pickups will fit without any need for modification or routing of the body wood. So for this episode, let's check out the Seymour Duncan Hot Rails. Like the Music Lily, this is also a dual rail humbucker uh, design. And the benefit of having the rails is you don't need to worry about the pole pieces not lining up with the strings. Now, just some housekeeping things. Please excuse the blue painter's tape. The body wood is pretty soft on this Bronco. So because I've been taking the pick guard off and on, off and on so many times to try different pickups uh, and different wirings, I didn't want to strip the screw holes. So that's why there's painter's tape holding the pick guard to the body. Now let's have a very brief discussion surrounding series versus parallel wiring. I want to preface this discussion by saying that I am not at all an electronics whiz, but I am interested in the tonal outcome of these two different wirings. In series, this is the default suggested wiring from Seymour Duncan. The biggest benefits and advantages of having your humbucker wired in series is that there is quite a bit more output, so a stronger signal, and it's perceived to sound fuller and bigger. And all of this while maintaining the hum cancelling properties of the humbucker pickup. The main disadvantage to series wiring, however, is that our ears perceive it to have less highs and has less clarity. Contrast that to parallel wiring. Now I need to be very clear that parallel wiring is not the same as a coil split or a coil tap. This is wiring the humbucker in a different way. The benefits of parallel wiring is you get a brighter sounding uh, tone, a little sharper, it has more clarity, but still retaining the hum cancelling properties of a humbucker pickup. The main disadvantages of parallel wiring is you do get decreased output. I should also mention, not all pickup manufacturers follow the same color code wiring. So if you are uh, looking at replacing pickups, uh, please refer to the schematics and the wiring diagrams that come with that pickup because every company uses a different color coding system. Well, let's put the Seymour Duncan Hot Rail Humbucker Pickup to the test. We'll put it up against the drum track, the same song as in episode one, so you can hear the difference between this pickup and the stock original pickup. In the first pass, we're gonna have the Seymour Duncan in series wiring with the tone knob at 50%. The second pass, we'll have it also in series, but with the tone knob at 100%. And for the third time, we're gonna have the Seymour Duncan wired in parallel with the tone up at 100%. Now, I did not have uh, switches on hand to do kind of a push-pull or a toggle switch demonstration, so I've just hardwired it uh, in series and then re-soldered it in parallel for this video demonstration. Here we go.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that playing demonstration. Please let me know what you thought of the tones by leaving a comment below. What do I think? I think overall, this Seymour Duncan Hot Rails is a tonal upgrade compared to the original stock single coil pickup. With the tone up at 50%, it is quite a bit beefier and has quite a bit more lows and a much warmer sound and tone compared to the stock pickup. With the tone up at 100% in series wiring, a lot of that kind of high end and grind that I liked about the original stock pickup is retained. The high end is still more muted, but overall, I think it's a more pleasant sound to listen to. And in comparison with the Music Lily that I featured in episode one, I think it sounds less harsh and a little more pleasant to listen to with the tone knob wide open. And that's in series mode. Now in parallel mode, there's quite a bit of drop in output. Now I have intentionally not level matched the series in the parallel wiring to demonstrate the volume loss you get in parallel wiring. I also think the low end is kind of lacking in the parallel mode as well. And if you compare the parallel wiring with the original stock pickup, there's actually more lows with the stock single coil, even if you level match them. So for me and my tonal goals, I don't think the parallel wiring gets the tone I'm looking for. However, if you did want to have that extra variety on hand, you can pretty easily install a toggle switch, so up for series and down for parallel, or you can also wire this in a push-pull pot uh, type configuration, uh, and that will eliminate the need for drilling another hole in to the pick guard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this comparison. I think overall, the Seymour Duncan Hot Rails is quite a bit of a step up from the original stock single coil pickup. And I think compared to the Music Lily featured in episode one, I think it's tonally a little more pleasing to listen to and less harsh in certain frequencies. But please let me know what you think. In upcoming episodes, we we'll have more pickups to feature and we're also gonna shield this bass. And let's see whether or not that actually makes a tonal difference. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.